Hello, and welcome to this video presentation. We'll show you how to work with static data and what benefits you can have from it. The main focus of Apex SQL Source Control is to track changes of object schemas. But developers can also link static data to source control to track and compare changes as well. Static data, in the context of SQL Server, is generally considered data related to fixed codes, lookup values, or other list-type data that generally isn't dynamic in nature and changes only infrequently, if at all. Since versioning all data is impractical and generating synthetic test data for all tables can lead to less realistic test environments, versioning static data only and generating test data for everything else can be a good solution. Before you start working with static data, you must link that database to a source control system. As we already have one database linked, let's see which options the Apex SQL Source Control tool has to offer for working with static data. There are two ways to link static data. Right-click on the linked table in the Object Explorer pane, and from the More Source Control Options menu, click the Link Static Data command. If everything went OK, the information message, the data from this table is linked to source control, should appear. Right-click on the linked database in the Object Explorer pane, and from the More Source Control Options menu, click the Static Data command. In the Static Data form, all of the tables will be shown, with information about the primary, key, and schema name. You can filter them by name, by key, or by schema. Let's check several tables. As you can see, the tables without the primary key, like the table, table underscore one, cannot be checked. And if you try it, the data from tables without a primary key cannot be linked message will be shown. When you finish checking the tables, click the link unlink button. After the link unlink button is clicked, data from all checked tables will be linked, while data from all unchecked tables will remain outside of source control. To clarify, when static data is linked, it doesn't mean that it is committed to the repository, just that developers can start working with it through Apex SQL Source Control to commit and track changes. After we linked static data for several tables, the Action Center tab recognized that the changes exist and the database changes detected refresh the Action Center tab message will appear. Click on the message or click on the Refresh button to refresh the Action Center tab. After the Action Center is refreshed, the linked static data will be represented in the database object list with the name of its table with the addition of the Data tag. Check all objects and click the Apply button to commit all changes to source control. Now we explain in the following example how you can track changes in the static data. Let's link another database, identical to the AdventureWorks 2014 we are already using, to the same repository. The Action Center tab will show the linked static data present only on source control. This means when you linked static data and committed it to source control, other users will see it in the Action Center tab, but in order to track changes on it, they must also link it from a local machine. To link static data from the Action Center tab, click the Static Data is not linked for this table. Click to link message. The object will disappear from the Action Center tab because the object already exists in the database. Only its static data was not linked. Let's make some changes to the object with the linked static data. In the table Business Entity Address, we will change data in one row. After the Action Center tab is refreshed, the static data of the changed table will be shown in the object list. This means that you can see any changes in the data and apply it to or from source control in the same way as changes on a schema level. Click the Apply button to commit the static data changes to source control. One more thing you should know when working with static data is that it is connected to any schema changes. Let's explain this a little bit more using an example. Let's add one new column to the table which has static data linked. 
we will choose the table Business Entity Address. After the Action Center tab is refreshed, on the Database Object list will be both the table and the static data for that table. And if you check only Static Data Changes to Commit to Source Control, the To Commit Selected Data Changes, You Must Commit Schema Changes First or Commit Both at the Same Time message will appear. In this way, Apex SQL Source Control preserves the integrity of both object and data structure between a database and source control, and prevents errors when working with these static data tables. To resolve this issue, we will check both objects and click the Apply button to commit the changes to source control. When working with static data, Apex SQL Source Control provides the possibility to set what will be shown in the Differences window preview in the Action Center tab. Let's edit one table with linked static data by changing the data in several rows. In the Differences preview window will be shown the whole static data script and any differences will be highlighted. We changed only the data in the first several rows, so it is easy to see it. But if you have many changes, it is easier to see only changes that are made than a whole script. Apex SQL Source Control gives you the ability to set what will be shown in the Differences preview window. Go to the Apex SQL main menu, then Apex SQL Source Control, and open the Options dialog. Under the Action Center tab, you will find Show Different Rows Only option. Check it and click the OK button and refresh the Action Center tab. Now, in the Differences preview windows, only rows in which differences have been detected will be shown. Apex SQL Source Control has a built-in mechanism which can reduce the performance impact when showing large amounts of data in the Action Center tab. In our database, we have the table Sales Order Detail that has over 120,000 rows of data. We will link its static data to the source control system and refresh the Action Center tab. In case the Action Center script is larger than the amount that can be shown, the object is too large to be shown in the Action Center. View it in a separate window. Option will be shown. If you click Yes, the New Differences window will open. And here, you can review static data changes before committing. Close the Differences window. Check the object in the Action Center tab and click the Apply button to commit static changes to source control. As you can see, beside the separate Differences window, working with large amounts of data are no different than working with any other linked object. If you do not want to track static data changes for a specific table, you can simply unlink static data for that table by right-clicking on it in the Object Explorer pane and from the More Source Control Options menu, click Unlink Static Data. Unlinking static data doesn't mean that this data will be deleted from the Source Control repository. Unlinking static data means that the static data changes for the linked database table will not be tracked from that machine. The The data from this table is unlinked from the Source Control information message will appear after the unlinking for the selected table is done. After unlinking static data from Source Control, refresh the Action Center tab. To delete static data from Source Control, check it, set Apply Changes to Source Control Action, and click the Apply button. Anyone who has access to the Source Control repository with proper rights can delete the static data files. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.